Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome to Root Stem. And in today's video, I'm just going to do a little bit of the old rant while eating an ice pop regarding why I don't think changing the kill team rules to something completely new is a good idea. Hi guys. If you do enjoy the content, please consider those like, share, subscribe buttons if you do want to see more. Now, this particular video is just going to be me having a bit of a rant about um, the new Kill Team game um, that is coming out from Workshop. Don't get me wrong, I have got my pre-order in, um, but I'll be splitting a box with a friend, mainly because the um, I'm not interested in the auction he is. But also because I'm not sure whether or not um, I'm going to be interested in playing a game that's not based on 40k rules. Now, there is a history to this of why sometimes I don't normally like a lot of games that are based on workshops. I'm saying 28mm figures. Majority of the time now they're not. They're like, they call them heroic 28mm. They're more like 32, sometimes nearly 40mm figures. Um, that workshop is now using uh, for the majority of its games and my major concern is that never when they create new rules for an existing universe those new rules unless they're kind of like a board game like Blackstone Fortress never really work and I don't know why and the only thing that can come up in my head um, as to why this doesn't work was the recent um, apocalypse, I call it the Apocalypse Debacle, um, simply because it, I think it came out in about June or July 2019. And me and my friend uh, Craig were really, really excited to about Apocalypse. We thought it was going to be an expansion set like the original Apocalypse books were. Uh, for Warhammer 40,000, we've got large armies, uh, you know, I've got like 7,000 points with Ferelder, I've got over 5k of Marines, I've got 5k of Guard, I've got big forces, and it's quite nice to play huge games with them. Um, and this Apocalypse set came out, and it was a completely new rule set. And we had a couple of games of it, I did record a couple of the games for the channel, but it, it wasn't... It wasn't 40k, I was playing a completely different game. It didn't feel like 40k, in fact, actually, the Apocalypse brought out was more like a, a version of, like a large-scale version of Epic. Um, that's the only thing I can sort of equate to it. Now, a lot of, a lot of you might say, oh, you mentioned Epic, well, that's in the 40k universe, but that was a completely different scale of model. Same with Inquisitor, it was a completely different scale of model. You weren't using the same models as you were using in your games of standard Warhammer 40,000. This new kill team is going to be played on the same boards, with the same terrain, with the same models, but it's going to become a completely new rule set. Now, I find at my local club, I mean, I suppose I'm basing this just mainly on my local area, but I find in my local club that when somebody doesn't buy the box set, but fancies, it, fancies a game of it and might get into it, if it's a completely new set of rules, it's more difficult for them to get behind the game than something that's familiar. So when Kill Team originally came out, the rule set was quite similar to 40k. The way you actually did your turn was different, but you still got your standardised move, you still got your weapon skill, you still got ballistic skill. At the time of recording this, I've not seen any data sheets for the new game, so I'm not quite sure if it's going to be completely different, but they've got tokens and they've got pl bits of plastic to basically state this is how you do your move and this is how you do your, your shooting. So you're not really going to be using tape measures anymore. That puts me off a bit, if I'm completely honest. Um, I, I, mainly because I don't want to be sharing all my stuff with other people if they haven't got the box game, but I'm wanting other people to play. The idea of kill team is that you can either be a starting or people can do it as a one-off. Um, we sometimes used to play a couple of games if we had like a like a round robin, winner stays on type thing. We're not going to be able to get that with the new version because it's going to be a completely different set of rules. So people are going to be less interested in 
kind of either chipping in or buying into the game at your local club. And yes, some people might argue that um, Necromunda is also a completely different game, but the core fundamentals of Necromunda is very much the same as Warhammer 40,000. The turnstile is very different. I do like the alternative turnstile, and I, if, I'm, if I'm completely honest, I would love to have seen them use Necromunda as a benchmark for Kill Team, or even just release some rules that you know, we're basically going to be using Necromunda in Kill Team. Workshop seems to think that we're just going to spend blindly. Um, I know there's a huge Kill Team community out there that probably won't even buy this game. They will still play their old edition. Um, it's the same with the Blood Bowl. I've noticed that Blood Bowl has changed and nearly everyone at my club has gone from, well, hang on a minute, this, this rule set has been adapted on and has been advanced on since way back when. We're not going to have the new one. We're just going to stick with the old rule set that's seen us through thick and thin. So at my local, <laughs> nobody is playing the new version of Blood Bowl. They're playing, actually either playing the previous one or even one before that, the living rule book. It makes me wonder if there's going to be more games where people just seem to abandon it. And I mean, I'm not talking just like one or two people. I'm talking entire clubs abandoning the game. So the entirety of loads of different people deciding, yeah, well, we're all together. We've all got these books. We've all got these rules. We're not going to bother with the new one. We're just going to not bother with it at all. Um, I do think that's going to happen with this new kill team. And then, just like Apocalypse before it, it's going to disappear by the wayside. And... I'll be honest, I miss Apocalypse, but with the current situation that we've got, especially with the people that's leading the charge on Warmer 40,000, we're not going to see big scale games come back anytime soon because it's all match play, match play, match play. It's all ITC, it's all tournament, tournament, tournament. Whereas Apocalypse is very narrative. Even Kill Team, though, is very tournament, and it makes me wonder if we're actually changing the rules to fit more of a tournament play. But also, of course, uh, the most frustrating thing is that they completely made a new edition out of Kill Team when it's not even that old. Uh, and it was, as far as I was aware, was selling quite well. Well, that's my little tiny rant. It is a little tiny rant. It's not meant to go on forever. It's just basically me giving my kind of little rant or little blog regarding the fact that I don't think this is a good idea. They should have just brought out maybe just a, a rehash. Keep the same rules. Add elements of possible Necromunda. I would have loved to have seen those Necromunda dice for flesh wounds and such being brought in to kill the team. I would have liked to have the alternative turn sequence. Maybe even the actions that Necromunda has been brought in to kill the team. That would have made it so much more fun, I would have thought, for a lot of people. But, alas, we're not going to do that. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll keep an eye out and try and keep you all updated. Don't forget, I do sometimes put out blogs, uh, well, I try and put out more frequent blogs on rootstem.co.uk, although I have been quite busy as of late, so that has died down a little bit. And I try and get some, I'm going to try and get some more battle reports out soon and some more painting videos, possibly even with a different flair on different models. Right, well, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.